Yo, YouTube. Easy Riders back again. Out for a couple of hours this morning. First thing Sunday morning after all this day of the year. Rusty Nell's playing with his flipping wahoo. It's beeping like a beeping, like a beeping bedding, thing. Like a microwave. Yeah, it's still on blue. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, it's it's rerouting, reprogramming, operator error. Big ride today. We're hoping that we're going to clock 100 subscribers. I think we're on 98. So that'd be massive because we don't really uh, do YouTube properly and get out there. We just put our videos on and see what happens. That said, we've had some really nice comments from people around the world. Shout out to Jonathan Kerr, who's an Aussie living in the Philippines. Appreciate your feedback, Jonathan. <laughs> Hopefully you were watching the uh, rugby yesterday. Yeah. See the England boys doing the business. They've got only 40 men. A lot of pallet there we are. Yeah. But a bit of English grit. Let's see what happens. Come on the Welsh. What? Come on the Welsh later on. Really? Nah. Chippy's following me. Oh, well. in that case, then, <laughs> borrow that. Plan is today, Rusty reckons he's a self acclaimed mountain goat. So we're going to spin out to Bath on the B2B and then we're going to go up the banner down, which Rusty hadn't done yet. I've done it. No. So the banner down's a hill that, if you watch GCN on YouTube, they use it for all their bike tests and hill climb tests, etc. So let's see how the goat gets on at the hill. Yeah, that'd be all right. Eh? Long, long as there's plenty of grass out there to nuggle on, it'll be all right. Plenty of grass. Plenty of rain today, you know. But the Wahoo's going to take us all the way there. We're expecting a bit of rain, but not for long. It was the hottest day of the year yesterday. It was bloody Scorchio. Nothing compared to the Philippines, I'm sure. But hot enough for us pasty Tommies. So, catch him with you later on. So the other reason why this video's a bit different is to let everybody know I have purchased a road bike which I'll probably uh, get in a week or so's time. I'm off on holiday tomorrow. But when I get back, hopefully the bike will be ready. So we'll do a little bit of a reveal sort of video when I get that. So I'll keep the ribble for gravel. Now I'll have a road bike. Needless to say, it's an e-bike, obviously. So I'll keep you in suspenders and wait and see what that's like as well. So hopefully that's enough of an incentive for people to subscribe and get us over the under it. Bit dark and dingy this morning. It is, isn't it? Got to get that under subscribers. So I'm relying on John Kerr to hook up the Philippines and Australia. Just generalising, you know, a few people in Australia apparently. So come on, John. Can't stop thinking of simple minds when I think of Jonathan Kerr, Jim Kerr. Don't you forget about me. And then I think we got some in Spain as well, mate. Yeah. Looking at the geography thing on the. So, hola, buenos dias, como esta? That's about the extent of my Spanish, apart from 
Uno Cafe con Leche or <laughs> Grande Serefe, Serefa por favor. Oh, I'll tell you, the gates are open. Oh, no. A bit of squeaks on the wet. Uh -oh. So, we're just coming to the end of the B2B. 49 minutes since we left our house. Stopped a couple of times to try and sort the Wahoo out. Yeah. Really good. And we've done 12 miles. Yeah. Thank you. So we're just going to spin through the city of Bath. Not that hopefully the traffic won't be bad, it's only 20 to 9. Might the other side to the banner down. Yeah, it's it's nice. lovely and warm mine. Yeah, isn't it? It's not 20 degrees, I reckon. You better get the subscribers to put some comments on what the hell's going on with that Wahoo. Rerouting, rerouting. So we put we put a route in that I've done previously that we're following, yet the Wahoo's saying reroute, reroute, you're not on the right route, which we can't work out. I'm blaming Rusty for operator error. Yeah. YouTube bad, bad workman always blames his tools. Do they know that I've actually changed the Wahoo to a Tell them. To a Tell them. Tell them what you've done. Oh, I took the bolt back yesterday because it was too small from the eyes. Could see it. And Trek, no problem. Changed it over to the room for an extra £50. When I got home, realised it was the old room, not the V2. Took it back to Trek. They give me the V2 for 300 pounds, no extra charge. When I win a chicken dinner, lovely. Out of the track. Thank you, my wrist for the chicken. But perhaps he's given you a dodgy one, which is why it ain't working. Yeah, probably. <laughs> 50 quid or not. <laughs> Fair play. Shout out of the track. Yeah, happy days with that. It's Victoria Park in Bath. It's good a lot when I was a kid. Mint playground in there. Always has been. Looks pretty cool now. Or oh, Royal Victoria Park, I should say. I think it's Royal. Proper posh, like. Are pretty well marked out. Cycle paths in Bath. Or cycle lanes, I should say. Keep you safe from the traffic. Russ is still behind me, beeping like a bloody. Come on, beeper. You sound like the roadrunner back there. Yeah, I think you Meet me. Whoop. We route in again. Smart line, Queen Square and all that. It's telling me to go right now for some reason, I don't know. Obviously, it'd be nice to follow to see where it wants to go. Is going to take you back then, so you yeah. No. Might be. Better off switching it off. <laughs> oh, I just. So we've just come through Bath, just gone past the Bath Rugby Training Ground and I couldn't get the camera on quick enough but just walking into the ground with his boy was Lewis Moody, ex-England rugby player, won the World Cup in 2003, Mad Dog Moody, 
obviously the next generation of the Moody's is uh, part of the bath setup. Needless to say, Mr. Moody still looks like a big, big tough hard nosed bastard. As he was. Still remember that day he got sent off at Twickenham for smacking Tulangi. Was it Tulangi? One of them lot. In the chops. After taking Mark Quetta out. Yeah. Happy days. Shout out to the England boys last night. Stuffed it in the RGs. Fair shout. In there for a pee, Rusty. Dogger. So you had a boil on your bum after the last long ride. Yeah. By the sheriff's badge. Yeah, right by the sheriff's badge. And then you. Yeah, right. I'm getting from work and I get to miss it. Like, I'm a butcher. That's yeah, nice. I bet she enjoyed doing that. Not really, no. But I bet she enjoyed lancing it. <laughs> oh. It took a while to get better, actually. Banner down road. Good luck, Rusty. Go in front. Yeah, man, I think it's going yellow. I think it's going yellow and black, eh? Right. Keep on it. Let's see the goat in action. Just keep up the pace, innit? No, oh, you carry on. I know oh, I've. You the you're, the, you're the goat. I'm going to take my own time. Look at the bloody thing on the Shut I give him Rusty a tip to go in his bottom ring. No thanks. Oh my day. <laughs> First bit's the worst. Come on. The goat is off. Play. Gone, gone. Fair play. The goat is a goat. Okay, now Russ is gone. He's not waiting. Okay, now you are a goat. Kept it rolling, just kept it on and on and on and on. Oh, there, legs are uh, shaking a bit now, mm. a bit burning. Yeah, it's, that's a good deal, right? Yeah. We've still started a wahoo, what the problem was. Yeah. Rectified that issue, so Russ is now back to being chief navigator after pissing up the cold of Anodown. Good, fantastic effort on his first showing. Got legs like jelly now, but let's see. All right, let's see. Let's, well, you're in charge. Now we're on it. Now we're on it. Now we're on it like a car bonnet. Back in South Gloucestershire, God's own country. Beautiful. Wee. Twenty-six mile an hour shit lean in.
Morris Hill Cricket Club. Yeah. From right. Nice Cotswold stone building. So we've been going for an hour and 43 minutes now. 23, coming up to 24 miles. Rusty sorted his Wahoo now out. He knows what he's doing. Full navigator mode. Loving all the features on the Wahoo room. It's got bristle in the distance over there, you can't see it sadly. Shrouded by a load of mist. Normally you've got a wicked view of the city up here. Which is what we just done. I just got up over the top on this on my cow calf and I was dead. It's steep. Whoa! Bloody hell, my wheels where it's wet. Only touched the brakes and it locked up. But it's a steep. Squeaky bum time then. Come on, mate. Nice village. Doynton, I think. What did you do? Slip off the pedal? Yeah. Out. Full power down, slipped off. What, into your shin? Fucking hell, whatever. We don't even have bear traps on. <laughs> Yo, Shimano bear trappers. Back later, maybe. Do I want to go and look at an old mine? Do I want to go and look at an old pile of bricks? So here we are, 32 miles. Be 33 as every time I rock up. Oh my fucking life! The bloody squirrels. Yeah. Suicidal round here. Really in there. Oh! It's literally inch away there. Right. That's it for another episode. See you later, Chuck. Nice one. Have a great holiday. Will do. Make sure you properly chill out. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you uh, well, next it's gonna, week. It's going to be a couple of weeks. So I'll take Bradley back to Exeter next Sunday. So no I'll worries. See you, uh, could be on a new whip by then. Oh dear. Don't forget. No miles are better than. Oh, no you bike miles. miles are better than no miles. Oh, Come on, Rusty, yeah. you muppet. No miles better than no miles on an e bike. <laughs> See you later, bud. Cheers, buddy. Thank you. See you later. Cheers. Good little ride. So here we are back, safe and sound. Nice little ride with Rusty just before the holly bobs. Uh, off, off to Dubai tomorrow for a week for a bit of uh, R&R, &R, which would be good. Um, yeah, fair play to Rusty. He fired up that hill pretty quick. So true to his word, he is a mountain goat. Nice one. Um, so yeah, little surprise coming up um, 
in a week or so's time hopefully for you all got a new bike coming so we'll have a look at that when i uh, roll that one out for you all to look at and yeah be safe out there get out there now the weather's cooled down a little bit it's probably been a bit too warm for cycling of late in the uk but um yeah if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe we want to try and get over that 100 subscriber barrier i think we were on 97 last time i looked and really appreciate people from around the world uh connecting with us so just can't get that at my head that uh, people are showing an interest in places like the philippines and australia and spain and japan and yeah it's crazy so thank you very much really do appreciate it and uh, hope you keep enjoying the videos catch up with you uh, in about a week's time laters